retro video game collecting. Um, I don't know. The market has pulled back a little bit. I noticed my collections went down a bit in value, which is fine. Um, some games are still holding, like Champions. I just... Price charting is hard to read, though, because a lot of my stuff's complete or in great condition, so the value of what I have is much higher than price charting. But I know it's pulling back a bit. I've copped a couple $200 games for 100 or less. Um, some games that hit like $80, $90, they were pushing that $100 level. Like PlayStation 2 games, I'm copying for 30 to 50 So I'm starting to... I'm starting to buy some of these games I normally wouldn't have bought, like Wild Arms 5, um, Alundra. Um, yeah, I'm just watching a lot of these, like, grails pretty much, you know, not like $1,000 grails or nothing. But I'm watching them pull back 50%, and I feel like it's a good buy period. If they keep falling, that is what it is. Like I've always said, if the market does like an 80% pullback, I'm just going to unload a crap ton of money into it and just store it away. Because there's going to be a point where I just, I'll just buy in quite a bit and it, it won't matter if it goes to zero because I don't believe it ever will. But the market, it's still holding quite well. It's just some of the two to three Xers are really pulling back by like 50%. And I, I didn't buy any of them really. So I feel like. A 50% reseed is a good time to buy. Um, like another good one right now I'm trying to cop is Valkyrie Profile 2. It was up to like 70, 80. Now you can get it for around 30. I feel like it's never going to touch 15 again. And it, it could. I mean, in a year or two, I could be proven wrong. And, and yeah, it's going to suck to see my collection get nuked like that. But I'll be excited to buy more titles at very affordable pricing you know i can buy what i want when i want but i i'm a sucker for deals and i i don't mind seeing prices pull back and it's happening to a lot of those games i i sort of like straight away from buying a lot of them or if i did buy certain grails i made sure i was getting deals on them like clock tower for playstation one i paid 124 it's still worth it, that hasn't really pulled back at all. But even if it did a 50% pullback, I'd be even on it, right? So I, that's why I love getting 20, 30, 40% off because if there's a pullback, you don't lose any any monetary value, right? But either way, it, it doesn't matter. I'm just excited to see where everything is in 10, 20 years. That's one thing that's fun about collecting for me. You could say it's like investing, but I have a lot of sentimental value and nostalgia driven for the collecting I do. So it ain't always about the money. But if the price was right in time when I'm older, I'd probably give in. You know, it, it, it all depends. Like, I have some stuff worth quite a bit of money, and I'm just not selling it. A lot of my stuff is 2, 3x, and I haven't budged. Um, I cracked two Flesh and Bloods card, cards that were worth half a grand each, and they were only worth $80 like a year and a half ago, two years ago. Did not sell them. Now they're back down to like 200. So like, there's a perfect example. I could have made more money. I didn't spend that on them, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna cry over it. But uh, I just primarily focus on. I don't know. All retro games, man. I'm constantly shifting. Like I went back to Nintendo. I bought Contra Force. Got that for 40% off of its high. Um, Ninja Gaiden 3 got that for like 30% off of its high so like these games a year ago if you would have been like hey are you going to buy these they'd be like no way I'm not spending 150 I'm not spending 120 but when these games come back down below 100 I'm much more opt to buy them you know especially if I find a decent deal and they're in good condition so I did buy those um, those are the moves I'm making um as far as retro games. Um, I don't mess with the graded games. I know they pulled back massively. But I'm still seeing some like WADA 9s for vintage retro games go for thousands. You know, good condition graded games people still open their wallets for. Like there's a market there. I don't like 
I don't really um, I don't really want to display graded games. It'd be cool to have a few for display, but I just it's something I stray from. Also, like handheld games, I don't touch. Um, Sega, I stray from. Besides, like the Splatter houses, the Sonics, like stuff, anything nostalgia I'll buy, but I don't really go heavy into Sega. It's more, you know, Nintendo, PlayStation, that kind of stuff. X OG Xbox, and I don't bypass PS2. So, like, PS3, Xbox 360 is a no go. I, I won't buy any of it. Maybe in the future, when it becomes more vintage and retro, we'll see. But yeah, the, those are the retro moves I'm making. I'm, I'm constantly watching the market. Um, I'm always trying to find deals. It's hard. You know, everyone wants market price. And hunting in the wild, like, that's tough. Maybe one out of ten thrift store visits, I'll find something decent. But it's hard, you know. You have other people out there looking. And when people have something, they usually have it listed for eBay sold or price charting prices, right? So it's hard. But yeah, that that's the state of retro game collecting for me. It's just a fun hobby. I absolutely love it. And it's it's just a nostalgia drive for me. Um, and we'll see where we're at in a few years. <laughs>